Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the week of March 8th through the 14th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind, not every reading is for you. All right. What do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week ahead? What do we have for Gemini? Oh, we got a flyer. Ooh, indecision. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. I'm not sure. Sagittarius got this as well. So you could be dealing with one of them, but this is a choice that needs to be made. You're obviously at a crossroads. You need to choose which path you're going to go down. Um, so the, yeah, there's a level of indecision and a choice that needs to be made. You can choose to go down the path that is less traveled that you know that you've never been down, or you can choose to, you know, keep going in the direction that you've been going, or you can choose to be stuck. What are you going to do? You're definitely, um... You need, to, you need to choose. You need to make a choice. And I feel like um, it's a very, very difficult choice. It feels like both in both directions, you know, there's an unclear and difficult path ahead. So this is a tough decision. It is definitely a tough decision. decision. You're going to have to make a tough decision this week. And there is some sort of fear that is involved. Fear of the unknown. What do we have for Gemini? You know, and you you're at the point where you're you're it's almost like you're forced to choose. Nine of Wands. So we have somebody here that has been wounded. Right? We have somebody here that has been wounded, that has been hurt. This is going to be challenging. I feel as though uh, there's some trouble here. I feel like there's some trouble. You may have some people that are picking on you, that are poking you, that are laughing at you. You know what I mean? You may, feel, you may need to be really, really, really strong this week. I feel like you need to have strength. You need to hold your head up high. Be confident in who you are. You have all the the tools, and I don't need the magician. You you need to persevere through something. I feel as though uh, you're going to be facing some challenges this week, and I feel like you, it feels like you've been hurt really, really bad by a situation, and it feels like you have to, you still have to deal with it. You still have to deal with this situation. This is like getting getting beat up. I'm wondering if somebody has gotten beat up, you know? Um, you may be feeling beat up. You may be feeling like, you know, nobody is on your side. You're all alone. You know, nobody cares about you. You know, that, that I mean, that's what this card is saying to me, you know? I really feel like you, you've had to fight. Maybe you've had to fight your whole life or something like that. Or you've just been and, you know, you've had some sort of challenges that have brought in you a lot of strength don't give up you've come a long way you're, you're a survivor it looks to me like you are a survivor and uh you've almost reached the end of something you've you're wrong because the next card is a ten of wands so there's something that you are holding on to a burden or baggage or something that is it needs to be let go. You you need to just leave it all behind and go someplace else. And I think that you're almost there. You're almost you're almost at that point where you're going to be able to leave this behind. You're you're going to a better place. But right now, I think it's a very challenging time for you. This may be a time of closure because nines are about closure. It's a sign to move on. So I you know I think that we are at eight, which is change, and nine is a sign to move on. So I do believe that things are changing for you. I think that you are definitely, uh, you know, feeling beat up or feeling wounded or you've been hurt really badly by people that, you know, you may have thought they were your friends or you may have thought they, you know, you had something in common with these people or you may have thought that they would never do this to you. But 
the fact is they aren't really your friends or they aren't really your people or, you know, you're just better than this. Anyway, I do believe that you need to make a choice to go in a new direction that you've never went in and it's probably going to be a little scary. Um, you've come a long way. So I would say don't give up. This is almost over, whatever it means to you. Do not give up, okay? Um, you may need to protect yourself a little bit better in the future. If you don't want to keep getting hurt, protect yourself. Don't put yourself in those situations. So it feels like you've put yourself in a situation that you shouldn't have put yourself in. You know, we all do. That's how we learn. Okay? We learn by the mistakes that we make. So anyway, I feel like this week... You know, you need to take ownership for your your decisions that you have made. And maybe you need to choose another path. You know, do things differently. And I, and I you know, whatever. Um, repetitive. I feel like you've made some repetitive mistakes. Um, and you need, you need to uh, be held accountable. You need to hold yourself accountable for the positions that you put yourself in. Don't put yourself in those positions. Protect yourself. Guard yourself. Set up boundaries. Set boundaries. So maybe this week you need to set some boundaries and go down another path. You mean really do something that you have never done before. Five of Swords reversed. Page of Cups reversed. Magician resources. I knew you had the resources. It's interesting because I said it and I got it mirroring this card. So something about the you have all the resources within you, right? You do to succeed. That's strength. That's courage. That's confidence. That's willpower. That's um, emotional stability. All the resources. That's that's self love. You just gotta find it, right? Um, strength. But you have to be grounded. You have to be real. You have to be practical. You have to be responsible. Responsible. You have to accept responsibility. You have to be willing to shed the old to bring in the new. You have to take action. You have to do something this week. You have to be willing to shed the old you to bring in the new you. You have the opportunity to create whatever you want, to manifest whatever you want, to get whatever you want. But you're going to have to master your emotions. You have to uh, not... You have to let go of your ego because that five of swords reverse. Let go of your ego if there's been some sort of fighting or rejection, whatever. Drop it. Let it go. Think about the ten of wands. Okay, I think that you have been hurt. You have been wounded by somebody. Um, maybe even ridiculed. You know, embarrassed. There could be some embarrassment here. Hold your head up high. Definitely hold your head up high. You have the power. You are gonna. You have the power. You have the power to get whatever you want. To get whatever you want. But it will require self confidence. Okay, in believing in yourself. I feel like you have a golden opportunity that is coming to you this week because the magician is a golden opportunity. Taking charge, becoming aware, becoming focused, and doing something. So I think that you're going to be doing something different this week. Um, that page of cups reversed is um, maybe you need to have a little bit more fun. You know, you need to set boundaries. I feel like you have worn your heart on your sleeve. Maybe you need to stop wearing your heart on your sleeve. Here we have heart. Here we have a sleeve. So I feel like you have worn your heart on your sleeve. Maybe you need to protect your heart a little bit. You know? Maybe you need to be wiser. Use your, use your intelligence a little bit more. And I know that you're very intelligent because the magician is your card. And it's somebody that is very skilled. Extremely skilled. So you have all those skills inside you. You just got to use them. You know, so I feel like, you know, with that five of swords, it's not about fighting or winning. It's about happiness. So you have an opportunity. And, and I think that you've been battling. There's obviously been some sort of fight or a battle or something with somebody where it's like, I want to win. It's not about winning anymore. Okay. It's not about winning. Winning. I think that you've been in a hostile situation. You Maybe you've chosen to be in that hostile situation. Maybe there's a victim mentality. I'm just being honest with you. Um, you need to remove yourself from the situation. You don't need to. You don't need to fight. You don't need to play games. You don't need to get involved with people who like to fight. It's your choice. Your your choices shape your reality. 
okay? And what does the magician do? Shapes reality, okay? So you have the power to create whatever life that you want, but you're going to have to uh, not wear your heart on, the, on your sleeve, okay? And some of you may have had your heart set on somebody, you know, very set on somebody that was literally emotionally unavailable, Okay, this person may have abused you in some way. They may have hurt you in some way. Maybe you weren't being realistic. Anyhow, I, I do feel like this week you, you're going to be choosing another path, choosing another option. You're definitely going to be presented with another option, right? Okay, you're going to, you have a golden opportunity to create something new. Um... This is a card of determination, and this is a card of a determination as well. So I think that you need to be determined this week. This is a card of success. You will be successful. You have all the power that you need to be successful. But it will require you to keep walking. You notice this person is walking, typically in the nine of wands. You know, this is somebody's, you, typically they're on their knees, or they're down on the ground. Keep walking. Keep walking. Don't stop. Don't look back. So anyhow, um, I feel like there's some sort of embarrassment here with that five of swords. I feel like there's some sort of embarrassment. Anyway, that and the eight of wands is communication. It is messaging. It is triumphant news arriving. Very, very on on swift wings, right? This is this is uh, fast forward movement. This is this is things moving forward very, very fast. I feel like you're gonna get something that you asked for. You may start talking with somebody or messaging with somebody. Uh, you asked for this. You asked for something because magician. Uh, Manifest has a divine connection to source uh, as above so below you ask for something and you're going to receive it But you have to, you have to be confident. I see confidence is needed here You need to be confident. You may be communicating with somebody that you asked for But there could be fear there could be fear of getting hurt again There could be fear of getting hurt again definitely you probably need to make a choice. You maybe maybe you uh, don't trust. You don't trust. Maybe you in the past you had somebody that was emotionally unavailable to you, and you, you just don't trust. This is definitely a power struggle. It is a power struggle. You're, I feel like you're going to be struggling to make a choice as to whether you want to maybe open up your heart to somebody. You know, you may be flirting with somebody or communicating with somebody, you know, and it could it could lead to more, but maybe you're afraid because of the previous pain, the previous hurt that you've been in. You've obviously been hurt. There could be fear of public humiliation as well. Now, this this five of swords in reverse could be Revenge. So and that could be fear of revenge. I mean, the Five of Swords reverse could be an all-out war, a battle of some sort. But you're in. You have some sort of control. You have some sort of power with that Magician card. You have. You have the power. You have. You have the upper hand. I feel like you have the upper hand here. You may not know it though. You may not. Anyhow, I wonder if there's something that is going to be exposed this week about somebody that abused you. There could be. There could be. Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords is truth, and it definitely could be exposure. You could be calling somebody out, or somebody could be calling you out. I mean, the Queen of Swords is very expressive, very authentic, very truthful and honest and to the point. Uh, there's two swords. Two swords is a decision that is being made. There is. You're definitely going to have to make a decision this week. It may, have to, it may have to do with going down a path that you have never, ever gone down or you're too scared or you've been scared to go down. Um, Queen of Swords. Very brash, very authentic, to the point. 
putting somebody on the spot. Somebody is probably going to be put on the spot this week. You may have to think fast. You may ha I feel like protection is big too. Protect yourself. You also may need to look at things from a new perspective. And be honest with yourself as well. There, there could be uh, somebody that's, and I, and I don't know where this is coming from. But there could be somebody that is getting arrested, and I don't know who it is. Somebody could be getting arrested this week or, you know, for hurting another person. priestess there's hidden agendas here we got somebody here that has hidden agendas and there's a secret that is about to be revealed some there is there's a secret that is that has been hidden that is about to be revealed this week we have somebody that has hurt another person they have they have it's interesting i don't know how you're involved here This is somebody that does not care who they hurt. Definitely does not care who they hurt. And there is some sort of information that is coming out this week about that person. And you're going to be in some sort of power. You're in a powerful position. You may be given control or given power. Things are going to move in a new direction very, very fast. They are. <laughs> I feel like we have a hostile situation here with that Five of Swords reversed. People may be laughing. They may be laughing now. But they ain't going to be laughing in the future. They are not going to be laughing in the future because you're, you're, you're moving to a better place. You're, you're, whatever is happening, I feel like they aren't going to be laughing much longer, whoever these people are. I feel like you're going to be receiving some good news. I mean, the high priestess reverse, that's a lack of awareness. Somebody has not been aware as well. They have not been aware of the truth. Okay, that's the truth. Lack of awareness. Here comes the truth. Here comes the truth. So if somebody has been lying about something, that truth is about to come out. Okay? And it is the cold, hard truth. Okay? These people ain't going to be laughing much longer. Whatever that means to you. This is a yes answer. So you're going to be receiving a yes answer or some, I feel like, some, and that's your card. So I feel like something's going to go in your favor. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth and here comes the truth. You know, they may have gotten away with whatever they did, but they ain't going to get away with it much longer. Somebody's about to get their bubble burst. They are about to get their bubble burst. Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. Um, we have you. Um, we also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, we also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So anyhow, um, this some we have the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is solid, stable, secure, uh, real. This is a reality check. It is definitely a reality check. This is a golden opportunity for stability and security. Somebody's going to be giving you an opportunity that is really, really solid and stable. Okay, you may not see it coming. It's coming. It is coming. Um, 
this is a gift. It is a gift. You have, you've asked for something and I feel like it's relief. You're about to have relief. Put it that way. Relief is coming. This battle is just about over. I'm telling you what, whatever this battle is, it is just about over. You've been battling with somebody, but I see your stability. I see your security. I see your uh, power. It's like you have some sort of gift, or you, and maybe you're gifted. Maybe you are gifted. Maybe you're just authentic. I have somebody here that is very authentic, very real, that is receiving a gift that they asked for. So, uh, you know, I feel like it's you. After you have been in a hostile situation with people that have abused you or laughed at you or something like that. Some sort of secret is about to be revealed and it's going to change everything. And I think it's going to change things fast. You're also going to be communicating with somebody. This is good news. It's very, very, very good news. Okay. Um, you may not be aware that this is coming, but it is. it is. It is. You're about to be removed from a situation or somebody is being removed from the situation for you. This may have to do with, I don't know, for some of you, it may have to do with a mother and a child. We may have somebody here that is ill. They may be ill. You know, it could be even be mentally ill, mentally imbalanced. That could be coming to light. Anyway. We do have an offer that is coming with the Queen of Pentacles. I don't know if it's an offer. I'm not sure what it is. It feels like it's a gift. Somebody has manifested something. They have manifested something. And maybe it's just they've manifested something solid, something real, something stable, something long term. There is definitely a decision that is being made that is going to, I feel like it's going to change your life. And I think it's going to change your life in a very positive manner. You may be unaware that this is happening at the time, but you're going to see that this leads to something long-term, something successful. Long-term stability. That's what it is. So this struggle that you have been in, where you have been wounded. I feel like you are about to, to move out of this situation. And whoever these people are that have been laughing at what you've went through, they ain't going to be laughing much longer. Okay, they aren't. Because you're going to be in the position. You're going to be in the powerful position. You're going to be in control. You're, whatever it is, this is, this is success. You are definitely headed towards success. So anyway, Gemini, I feel like this week you are, you're moving in a new direction. And I feel like you're going to be given an opportunity from somebody that is very authentic, very real, very to the point. Okay, this person um, doesn't want to play games, right? They don't want to play games. So you're going to have to, there's a choice, a decision that is being made. You're going to be going down a new path. Put it that way. This is a change. Eights are change. Eight. Or eight. Okay, so this is definitely a change that is happening for you. Good luck.